Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Support our channel, just shop on our site, ScooterWest.com. We got you covered for everything Vespa. Whether you got a new one, an old one, you're looking for accessories, whatever, you'll find it on ScooterWest.com. So say you have a new Vespa and the mirror is doing this. How do you tighten the mirror? I'll show you how. And first of all, let me give credit to the guys up at Vespa Portland because they beat me to the punch on doing the mirror tightening video. So the most important tool you're going to need is a 17 millimeter combination wrench. Alternatively, you can use an adjustable wrench, commonly referred to as a monkey wrench, which has a little thumb adjuster. You can adjust it to about 17 millimeters. So you got a mirror like this, flopping around. Uh, don't be too alarmed. They're supposed to do that because if you hit the mirror head, you know, like on a car, uh, the idea is it flops a mirror and doesn't break it or throw your steering out. It's actually a safety feature. And pretty much all the newer Vespas have a reverse thread on the left and a standard thread on the right. So the normal lefty loosey, righty tighty, and then this one's the opposite. And I'll show you how that works. If you have an older Vespa, it's gonna be just standard threads on both the left and right Vespa uh, mirrors. So your mirror's doing this. All you gotta do is get the mirror head where it's pretty much right above the grip. That's typically where you want it. Sometimes people have the preference to wanna have it in, so it's personal preference if you want it out or in a little bit. And once you get the mirror in position, pull this rubber cap up. This is a 2020 Vespa GTS 300. It would be the same on a 2018 or a Sprint Primavera of any year, uh, 2019, anything newer. So you're wondering how this tightens up. Be careful not to slip and scratch your, um, your painted surface. So to loosen the mirror, you turn it clockwise on the left side alone. To tighten it, counterclockwise. So once you get the mirror where you want it, you give it another little squeeze. And you can't really get a torque wrench in, in here unless you had a crow's foot and a special adapter and did a calculation. Um, I would just say tighten it pretty tight, but don't crank on it. You don't want to just give it a, hold the mirror head, give it a like such. And that's about all you need. I'm just giving it a pretty good like wrist motion to get the mirror tight. And that's usually the appropriate tightness that you do on these mirrors. If you over tighten it, you'll either break the mirror studs, strip it out, or break the lever perch, which is even worse. So I'm gonna pull out the right mirror. If that answered your um, question, just hit the thumbs up and close the video if you just wanna know how to tighten a mirror. But here's the in-depth detail of how the mirrors work. I've kinda of covered this in the past. So first of all, the right mirror, uh, the tighten that we are gonna go clockwise to tighten it. And if you have an older Vespa, it's clockwise on both. But to loosen the mirror, you turn it counterclockwise a little bit. One thing to keep in mind, if you have an older GTS uh, 300, it's gonna have this little cover. You're gonna need to use a little uh, hex Allen key to remove that cover. So I'm removing the mirror, you know, turning it counterclockwise to remove it. And sometimes they have a pair of washers that are included. There's some grease or anti-seize that my technicians typically work, put on the threads. If you're really having a lot of troubles with the mirror, it is possible to use blue Loctite on there. I would never use red Loctite because you could possibly break that off. Um, if you're riding on rough roads, such as I did on that 50cc video, if you watch that video, you'll see my mirrors were loose a couple times. So they have this sleeve that threads on. And of course it's, um, reverse on the uh, left hand side reverse thread. So the way that works is you go all the way up and then just off a little bit, you know, make sure that thing's threaded. Uh, if you got an old mirror and it's all rusty, this is where you want to put some anti-seize or spray it with uh, lubricant to free it up. If you broke this off, uh, uh oh, bad news. You can um, find a way to extract it. You may need to drill it out or do other measures. So to put the mirror back in, this being the right one, you just line up the threads and then start turning it clockwise. Then for the left, counterclockwise. So just remember, left is counterclockwise, your right mirror is gonna be clockwise. And keep on turning, turning, turning. It stops, and then back it 
to where the head is perfectly over the grip. Get in here with your 17 millimeter wrench and give it the crank. And I mean crank it tight, but don't get crazy on it. There you have it. That's how you take care of your mirror problems on your modern Vespa. And believe me, sometimes it can be a mirror problem. It's pretty inconvenient when the mirrors come loose. So this may be a handy tool to have in your underseat compartment, especially if you're considering going on a long ride. And of course, you can substitute with an adjustable wrench that may be even more useful for tightening other parts on the scooter. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. If you like this video, of course, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, I have over 500 videos all about Vespas. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification. I think you'll find a pretty cool channel to subscribe to. I got lots of cool videos up there. If you really like this video and just really like to support us at the shop, we're all super passionate about Vespas. There's over a dozen people at work at Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Go on to Google reviews or Yelp. Just write us a positive little blurb and why we've helped you out. Thanks again, and thanks for all the support, and I'm glad you're watching my videos, and I'm glad it's helping people out. Robot here, until next time.